Hi, this is Christy Robinette. I am a psychic medium in the Michigan area, and my website is christyrobinette.com. Today, I want to talk about cord cutting. Cord cutting is essentially smudging for the soul. So with every interaction that we make, whether it's the cashier at your local grocery store, or it's a best friend from 35 years ago, or it's an ex-lover, we still have these ethereal cords that attach to us on a soul level, and a lot of times we don't even realize it. And they can weigh us down. They can steal our energy away and they can make us feel weak and they can make us feel um, exhausted like there's no more room for positive or or other positive situations to happen in our life essentially it's like an umbilical cord and you have all these ethereal cords some might be as small as fiber optic some might be tree trunk and they go back and forth between these two people if it's somebody who was toxic or negative, then essentially they're stealing your energy when this happens and you have every right and you have that free will to cut those cords so that you can make room for more blooms. So it's like tilling the garden. You can plant new relationships. You can plant new relationships with the same people, but you can then learn through those lessons and that love from the past and treat those cords better. You can also prune what is still connected to you and you can you know feed the the cords that are still um you know there but let blooms appear for you so this is a meditation to help you cut the cords you don't lose the the love you don't lose the lessons you don't lose the memories you are simply allowing new opportunities and new love in your life and a lot of people think that cord cutting is simply for when you break up with somebody and and that ne not is not necessarily true at all so you can still have um cords that are attached with your children you can have them attached to pets you can have them attached to bosses or ex-bosses or co-workers or any person that that you are having a relationship or an interaction with and you have cords so some people it's like a mummy you're surrounded so much like a mummy um and some people just have a couple cords because they're better at cutting it whether they're consciously realizing it or not so this meditation, you can do once in your lifetime, you can do once a week, you can do once a month. To me, uh, it's a lot like cleaning your house. So some people are dirtier, while others aren't as much. It depends on the situations and the negativity that's going on in your life is dependent upon how often you do a cord cutting. So I am going to do a cord cutting for you. And I hope that this benefits you. I hope that it gives you peace. That is the intention. So some people don't even know what cords are attached to them, and that's okay. And what happens is, you know, if you have trouble imagining the cords that are around you, you're not a visual person, the exercise is still very effective for you. So I want you to find a quiet place where you can be alone and not be disturbed. And I want you to begin by relaxing your body, by visualizing a bright white light coming down from the center of the ceiling. And with each breath in, you allow that bright white light to enter your aura. With each breath out, you're getting rid of all of the negativity and the tension and the stress of the day, the week, the month, the year, your life. It rinses all of that away and sends it down an invisible drain never more to return. Once relaxed, I want you to close your eyes and call upon your spirit guides, your angels, even past loved ones to help guide you through this process. It's all with free will, free choice. You are in command with what cords you cut. You are in command who you allow to help you with that. And I want you to visualize a doorway in front of you. And I want you to step through that doorway and take a moment to just look around you. What's the path look like? What's the scenery look like? Hopefully you feel at peace and joyful and relaxed. And as you continue to take your deep breaths in and out, you notice that several beings from the other side step forward. They could be your guides, your angels, past loved ones, even past pets. 
and they tell you they want to help you with this journey so that you feel healthy and happy and joyful in this lifetime. They guide you to a bench and they ask you to sit down. And just as you sit down, Archangel Michael steps forward and he introduces himself by handing you a large golden sword in your hand. I want you to feel that sword. Is it heavy? Is it light? He asks you to hold the intention of cutting all of your ether ethereal cords, all those cords, those negative cords that aren't helping you. He asks you to lift your arms and find your inner strength and begin to cut through the cords. You can name the cords, you can name the people, whatever you can imagine them to be. And as you cut from your back and under your feet and all around you, he helps guide you. But it's all with your own free will. You ask your spirit guides, your angels, and your loved ones on the other side to help heal you, to let go, to cut any cords that aren't serving you any longer, any cords that aren't serving your higher purpose. You ask them that all your cords that are attached, that are not aligned with love, light, and positive attention and intention be released. And that they're released and you're left with healing light to protect you from future att attachments. And as you cut, you ask that all fear-based attachments be released and you visualize all the remnants of the cords falling away. Say goodbye to them. Release, permanently release and revoke all soulmate contracts from this lifetime and other lifetimes that aren't helping you move forward. If you see any threads hanging on, imagine all that emotion that you hold for that person or situation. And you can burn it, cauterize it, letting those cords go. Visualize all those remnants falling away. And then a beautiful golden white light comes in through the top of your head, your crown chakra, and it fills your entire body. It expands outward and it fills all the holes from the cords that you've cut. You've got the power. You are brave. You always have been. You thank the cords for the lessons and the love and you ask your angels and your guides and your loved ones to help you with that strength, that continued strength forward. That healing light continues to surround you now and into the future. Your guides, your loved ones, your past loved ones say that it's time to go. You've done your work. You've done a great job. You stand up. They walk you to the doorway and they tell you the doorway can stay open. That might make it easier for you to walk through next time. You can visit them anytime. You say your farewell and you walk through the doorway. Take a deep breath in and out and open your eyes. As you do this, you might want to do it again. It takes a while, especially if you can't find a space that is peaceful and undisturbed. You might feel like crying afterwards. There's an emotion and that's okay. The person that you connected or the people that you disconnected may actually call you. You may hear from them because they're going to feel that cutting too. They're going to feel that their energy has shifted as well because they're not being fed by you any longer and that's good for all parties I'm proud of you you've done an amazing job with this cord cutting and just again know that you don't lose the love the lessons the memories you don't lose the people you just lose the attachments that are unhealthy for you I believe in you take care